That's almost no muscle loss. Monkeys taking semaglutide did what you would predict. They lost way, way, way more fat. Instead of 400 grams for the drug-free monkeys, the semaglutide monkeys lost about 700 grams of body fat, thereabouts, almost double, which is dope. The problem with semaglutide, though, is it's such a powerful reducer of how many calories you're taking in that the magnitude of your caloric deficit skyrockets. And we know in almost every case, a very high caloric deficit leads to a higher proportion of muscle lost. It's just, it's not a semaglutide thing. It's not that the molecule is making you lose fat, or sorry, it's not like the molecule is making you lose muscle in some special way. It's just driving a crazy, crazy deficit, and then you lose more muscle. So those monkeys that were on semaglutide, they, do, they did lose 700 grams versus 400 grams of fat. Amazing. Almost 2x. But they lost close to about 100 grams of muscle with it. Still, hey, 7 to 1 ratio is really good. But like, man, they lost maybe like five or six times more muscle than the monkeys that just did the shit natty. So, okay, all right, trade-offs. And that's like a known trade-off, no big deal. Here's the thing. The monkeys that were given semaglutide and trivagramab, which is the myostatin block, lost about 1,300 grams of body fat. Okay, real quick. Natty monkeys, 400 gram loss of fat. Semaglutide monkeys, 700 gram loss of fat. <laughs> I can't, I had to laugh when I say this. The triple, the, the, the monkeys that got semaglutide and the myostatin blocker, trivagramab, lost 1,300 grams of fat. That is almost double the semaglutide group and more than three times the drug-free group. And those monkeys lost about 15 grams of muscle.